biggest mistake you can make is to wear I did I did that once and I didn't see the girl again for four years. So. So there's a fashion mistake that men are making. What is the one fashion mistake that <laughs> guarantees you will not see her again? Wear a beret. I did, I did that once and I didn't see the girl again for four years. And I was like, what happened? She goes, I saw the beret, I couldn't do it. I was in high school, my first date ever, huge mistake. So the most, the biggest mistake you can make is to wear your work clothes. So there's this thought that you can wear the same suit to work and on a date, you can't. It has to be different. And that's very important. The second mistake is really not wearing accessories. Women are not very good at starting conversations. It's in our culture, it's more normal for the man to walk up and start a conversation. Same thing for the first date. Women are not trained to ask great first date questions. You'll find this out if you let a woman run the date. Most of the time, they don't know what to ask because they're not used to that. So what I like to do is make it easy. And that's where you wear accessories that are a little bit interesting so that you can say, oh, where did you get that necklace? Where did you get that watch? And I said, interesting, not expensive. I used to buy all my accessories off Etsy. Now I know there's a lot of big companies that sell stuff in there, but I like something homemade that's one of a kind that's interesting so that there's a story. So everything you're wearing should be the start of a story to make conversation easy. And sometimes you'll be with a great conversationalist and she doesn't have to rely on it. But I've had situations where a woman liked me in a bar, wanted to walk up to and she goes, oh, I love your bracelet. It's not really why she walked over, right? But it makes it easier. And that's my job to make the conversation as easy as possible for her so she's never feeling uncomfortable. So I would only wear one large show piece. So you don't want to have like a giant necklace and a giant cowboy belt buckle. So only one of your things should be the main accessory. And then you should have other small things. And the other thing is you don't want to wear any rings on your first and second finger because when women see that, they go, oh, that's a guy that never hooks up with women because if you're getting intimate, you have to take the rings off if you're going to be touching her. So I've heard women tell me that. So I know as well, you don't want to wear too many rings. It sends the wrong sign. So the one fashion mistake that guarantees you'll never see her again is wearing your work clothes on a date, right? So you should bring some play clothes with you if you're going to go directly from work to the date. I would make a small change. I'll give you an example. So at work, you wear, there's a very specific tie width. Every one of us can look at a tie and go, that's too wide or that's too skinny, right? right. We know the width of a work tie. Switch. That's all you have to do is like switch that out and you're wearing a skinny tie. Like I only own super skinny ties because I only wear date ties. That's a really easy way to do it. Um, I would change so your the shoe. opposite. In other words, it's the opposite of the work ties, what you're saying. It's kind of like, yes. that's the point. Like if you wear regular shoes, you'd wear different shoes just because it's the opposite. Yes. You want to wear leather shoes that are not sneakers, but that you could not wear to work. That's the rules for like great date shoes. So anything that you go, that's not a work shoe, whether it's a work boot or whatever shoe you wear to the office, if you're a lawyer, it doesn't matter. That shoe you can't wear to date. Women look at shoes more than you could possibly imagine. If you look at every women's magazine, every single time they show a picture of a celebrity, it includes the feet. If you look at a men's magazine, it never shows the feet. Right? What about like pimpy shoes, like real, you know, gear? I used to have shoes like that. What about those, you know, weird, so good. loud? That's good. Yes. So... Any type of shoe that you're, if you look at a shoe and go, that's ridiculous. So there's a couple of types. There's the really long shoe with a pointy toe that's like a met, shiny metal point. Those yeah. do really well. Like an, a shoe that almost curls back like an elf shoe. Those do really well. I don't know why. I used to wear a pair of boots that had a dragon imprint on the bottom. So when I would leave a footprint, it would be a dragon. It wouldn't always happen. It was like, but sometimes. So, and that's something I can talk about because it's, it's like, it's not a surprise. When I told you that, it doesn't surprise you, right? You go, of course, Jonathan would do that. Like, it sounds like me. So you <laughs> want to do things that are like match your personality, but accelerate it. So there are certain things like I would never wear a pink feather bow. That's the accessory some guys do. It doesn't match my personality. It doesn't work for me. But I would wear a top hat because I think that's funny. So it has to match you and just be a little bit accelerate. I wouldn't always wear a pop hat, but it'd be like a fun occasional thing. But wear a shoe that's like you outside your comfort zone a little bit. Do not wear the glove five finger shoes. Those are very unattractive to women. So you don't <laughs> you want to do anything. The, the Vibram. Yep. The, 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 do not yeah, wear yeah. those. If it yeah, makes you really dorky, they're very dorky. It draws it. Women like feet. They don't like toes. 
So you want to draw attention to the foot, not the toe. It's the best way to say it. They look awful. I know. I know. I used to, um, uh, I tried them for running, but they look awful for, for a date. Uh, so, so basically, that's the mistake. You don't want to wear the same things you wear at work. You want to wear things that are opposite to work on a date. Again, the shoes can become an easily conversational topic because woman goes, wait, did you just leave a dragon footprint? And I can talk about the shoe for a while, where I got it, the whole story, and all of that is always there. So the secret is everything you wear should be intentional. Why am I wearing this necklace? Why am I wearing this shirt? Why am I wearing this hat? Because women put a huge amount of effort. Like if you have any sisters and you know, sometimes before a date, a woman will spend one or two hours getting ready. If you spent five minutes getting ready, what it says to her is like, oh, he doesn't care about me. He doesn't, I put in all this effort, he didn't put in matching effort. Right. So you want to demonstrate that you put in effort, that you care about things. And that will be much more attractive. Oh, he really cares about presenting himself because that's important. She thinks, well, what happens if he dresses like that when he meets my friends or meets my family? Those things all go through her mind. So a little bit of extra effort can go a long way. 